Hi, I'm Jim McKeon, Regional Sales Manager for Desco Industries. The topic of this video is to discuss the differences in construction and performance between pink poly bags and static shielding bags. The main performance difference between pink poly bags and static shielding bags is that static shielding bags will not allow external chargers to penetrate to the inside of the bag and potentially damage its contents. ANSI ESD S541-2008 is the packaging standard for the electronics industry. And in this standard, there is a requirement for any packaging materials to, that want to be qualified as shielding products. That requirement is that the material has a layer that is less than 1 times 10 to the third ohms somewhere in that material. The static shielding bag construction is multi-layer. The inside of the bag is anti-static polyethylene that's uh, designed to not allow uh, tribal generation when materials are pulled in and out. The next layer closest to the top is the metal layer that is less than 1 times 10 to the third. That metal layer is attached to a layer of polyester which gives um, tensile strength and puncture strength and the outside of the bag is uh, a non-generating um, anti-static layer. A pink poly bag is a single layer material. The way that it's made is when the polyethylene is being um, extruded, an anti-static agent is mixed in with the um, raw materials. That anti-static agent mixes in and blooms to the surface and collects moisture from the air. And that's what gives it, it, gives it its non-static generating uh, um, qualities. So both bags are designed to not generate a charge themselves, but only the static shielding bag with its 10 to the third shielding layer will prevent charges from the outside from getting inside the bag and damaging static sensitive devices. We're going to perform um, shielding tests on both the pink poly and the static shielding bag. Uh, this is a static shield checker and I'm going to place it inside the bag and then close the bag. We have a high voltage power supply that's set at uh, 2,000 volts. When I turn it on, you're going to see that without even touching this high voltage to the bag, it's causing the voltage is going through the bag. And that is, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's 200 volts. Now we'll do the same test with the static shielding bag. Go reset the checker. Turn the simulator on again. And in the shielding bag, even touching the power supply right to the bag, no voltage gets through the bag. That's about as graphic a demonstration as there is to show the difference between a pink poly bag and a static shielding bag.